Hey, what's up guys? So before I start this video, I figured I would introduce myself. My name is Nate. I've been playing PC games for about eight or nine years now. I originally started with Call of Duty for Pro Mod, playing tournaments and whatnot. And then I slowly moved on to other FPS games like Counter-Strike and Battlefield. And then right now I mainly play Apex Legends. But in about 2015, when Black Ops 3 came out is when my channel really started to blow up. And I think the thing I was most known for was my aim and that's when i started the reflex series which is basically just a montage series of flicking or target switching and through all of that i never did any kind of aim training i never launched an aim trainer i didn't really do any specific aim training in game until about a month and a half ago when I finally decided, hey, I might as well try it. And there's a couple of different reasons for that. One, I just noticed a lot of my friends who are really, really good at aiming and are super consistent. Pretty much all of them do some kind of aim training. And then also I noticed while playing games against controller players with aim assist, my aim just was not consistent enough. I could peak and do really really well but then i would also just be absolutely shit other days and i'd be whiffing a million times and so i decided to finally give it a go and see if it would actually help me out so i originally started with aim labs just because that was probably the one i saw advertised the most like everywhere i used that for maybe a week no, actually it was probably even less than that and then i moved over to Kovax, which i like a little bit more they're they're very similar but overall i enjoy kovacs a little bit more and that's what the majority of my friends list on steam consistently use over aim labs anyways after about a week of using these consistently every day for about 30 minutes to an hour the very first thing that i noticed is how much easier it was for me to pinpoint things I was doing wrong with my aim and these aim trainers because it's like the only thing you're focusing on. Whereas, you know, when you're playing an FPS game, there is so much shit happening at one time. It's really hard to focus on one thing. So, for example, the main thing I noticed, especially doing like flicking scenarios, I don't remember exactly what they're called, but scenarios you would do to practice for games like Counter Strike or Valorant, I noticed I was over flicking. Well, consistently. And that just means I would flick, but then I would flick past the target and have to recorrect my aim back onto their head. So even though I was flicking really quickly to actually hit the person, it was taking longer because I was needing to recorrect. And so I learned taking my time and slowing down my flicks a little bit more, but being more accurate with them was actually better. And obviously, as you practice these scenarios, you're going to get more consistent with that and eventually be able to speed up and get faster flicks while also staying consistent. I also noticed really weird stuff that I just never paid attention to when I played FPS games. Like for example, when I am tracking somebody, I never noticed what I paid attention to, the crosshair or the person I'm trying to shoot at. And that was one thing I got asked in my chat all the time. And I just never knew the answer because I didn't pay attention to it until I started aim training. And now I know without a doubt, I pay attention to the target and not my crosshair. Something else that I would always get asked in my chat is, well, one, how I grip my mouse. And then two, how tightly I grip my mouse. And that's what I noticed when I'm doing tracking scenarios. My grip is actually pretty light on my mouse, but then when I do more flick heavy scenarios, I grip that shit so hard. It's just a lot of little things like that that you finally notice that you can kind of diagnose whether or not it's good or it's bad. And then you can try to focus on that and recorrect it if it is potentially a bad habit. But with all that being said, I still think, you know, Kovacs and Aim Labs is good for a warm up, but you should still be prioritizing whatever FPS game it is you're maining. I still strongly believe there is just no scenario where you should be playing Aim Trainers more than the FPS game itself. Actually, you should be playing the FPS game significantly more than Aim Trainers. Like what I've been doing and what's been working for me personally is that I start off with Aim Trainers and I play them for maybe about 30 minutes. I have a couple different playlists that I can go all the way through, do a bunch of different uh, scenarios, and they're usually under 30 minutes. But like, I think at max, you should be doing aim trainers 
like an hour a day and then move on to whatever fps game it is because the one thing that i noticed when i was playing kovacs and i found a scenario that was actually really fun and i was trying to go up on the leaderboards you know i played for like two and a half hours to three hours straight and then i finally moved over to apex legends and my aim was shit because my muscle memory just wasn't used to the recoil and everything else in that game specifically so i think you you still have to find that nice in between where it's going to actually help you and not mess you up in game also one of the biggest things that i noticed and a lot of people were telling me early on is you have to challenge yourself with actually challenging scenarios in these aim trainers if you're just sitting there and you're doing grid shots on squares or balls or whatever that are absolutely massive they're not moving at all you're not going to improve at all or you're going to improve very very slowly i kind of compared it to if you were to be playing against really good players in an fps game you're going to improve a lot faster than if you're just absolutely stomping noobs who are really bad at the game all day which is one of the reasons why i think i was able to improve initially coming to pc FPS, fps game so quickly because as soon as i got a basic understanding of using a mouse and keyboard on fps games i moved over to cod 4 pro mod which is kind of like a more competitive version of cod 4 and then i eventually moved on to doing even tournaments so playing against even better players and i think the exact same thing applies to aim trainers do aim trainers that that are very difficult for you they might not be as fun at first you know trying to get crazy records or, and climb up the leaderboards on different easy scenarios but if you actually really want to improve that's what i suggest on top of that if you're whatever fps game you're maining at the time has some kind of dm mode or some kind of tdm mode respawn mode where you can just constantly shoot people die you know whatever and you don't have to really worry about any downtime I would also try to mix that in with the aim training so for me i've been mostly i'll play like kovacs for 20 30 minutes and then i'll move over to apex tdm control and all that shit for like a couple games so like another 20 30 minutes so that i still keep that muscle memory from whatever game it is that i'm playing that's why i think things like kovacs are still better as a warm-up to keep your aim nice and sharp and then you move over to the actual fps game so overall yeah without a doubt i think it's really helped me and i think going forward i will be adding it to my like daily routine i've noticed in things like apex my aim has become a lot more reactive and i guess less lazy if that makes sense and honestly it's kind of just fun to compete against other people on kovac especially your friends and whatnot on the leaderboards to try and well once again challenge yourself to be better and better i haven't managed to get any like crazy crazy uh records yet but it is really nice to see like when i initially started kovacs there was one playlist or sorry one scenario where there was like 127,000 scenarios and i think i ended up in like the 60th thousandth place or something like that and now i think i'm down to like the four or five thousand so it's a really good way to see your actual improvement in your aim while doing all this yeah anyways uh i should also mention i'm not sponsored by kovacs or aim labs or any of those guys i just thought this would be a fun video overall i do suggest kovacs i've had like pretty much no issues with it apart for some screen tearing issues very weird screen tearing issues i, I gotta figure out how to fix that but overall it's been it's been great for me so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop me a like and sub to the channel if you if you liked it go and check out my social medias my twitch is nate gibson well my twitter's nate gibson pretty much everything is nate gibson and i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you in the next one see you later holy